Peter Barlow, the 13th of October 1776 to the 1st of March 1862, was an English mathematician and physicist. Topic: <laughs> Work in mathematics. In 1801, Barlow was appointed assistant mathematics master at the Royal Military Academy, Woolwich, and retained this post until 1847. He contributed articles on mathematics to the Leda's diary as well as publishing books such as An Elementary Investigation of the Theory of Numbers 1811, a New Mathematical and Philosophical Dictionary 1814, and New Mathematical Tables 1814, the latter became known as Barlow's Tables and gives squares, cubes, square roots, cube roots, and reciprocals of all integer numbers from 1 to 10,000. These tables were regularly reprinted until 1965, when computers rendered them obsolete. He contributed to Rees's Cyclopedia articles on algebra, analysis, geometry and strength of materials. Barlow also contributed largely to the Encyclopedia Metropolitana. Work in physics and engineering In collaboration 1827 with optician George Dolland, Barlow built an achromatic lens that utilized liquid carbon disulfide. Achromatic lenses were important optical elements of improved telescopes. In 1833, Barlow built an achromatic doublet lens of joined flint glass and crown glass. A derivative of this design, named a Barlow lens, is widely used in modern astronomy and photography as an optical element to increase both achromatism and magnification. In 1823, he was made a Fellow of the Royal Society. Two years later, he received its Copley Medal for his work on correcting the deviation in ship compasses caused by the presence of iron in the hull. Some of his magnetic research was done in collaboration with Samuel Hunter Christie. He conducted early experimental and observational studies on the origins of terrestrial magnetism. He is credited with the eponymous Barlow's wheel, an early homopolar electric motor, and with Barlow's law, an incorrect formula of electrical conductance. Steam locomotion received much attention at Barlow's hands and he sat on the railway commissions of 1836, 1839, 1842 and 1845. He also conducted several investigations for the newly formed Railway Inspectorate in the early 1840s. Barlow made several contributions to the theory of strength of materials, including Essay on the Strength and Stress of Timber 1817, which contains experimental data collected at Woolwich. The sixth edition 1867 of this work was prepared by Barlow's two sons after his death and contains a biography of their father. Barlow also applied his knowledge of materials to the design of bridges. His sons Peter W. Barlow and William Henry Barlow became notable civil engineers of the 19th century. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1832, following his death in 1862 at his home in Charlton. He was buried in Charlton Cemetery. Topic: See also 
2,147,483,647, Barlow commented on this Mersenne prime. <laughs>